when we're talking about air quality as it relates to human health, we're also talking about the microbial load in that air. And uh, one of the things we're really concerned about is what are we breathing? We do know we have many particulate, microbial, biological particulate in the air. So fungi, bacteria. And these are very small antiris. And uh, if we think about the size, here's a ruler showing you uh, the different division. This is uh, in centimeter. So if you look at one centimeter, it's about 10 millimeter. And one millimeter is about, you have to divide that by 1,000 to get one micron. And many of the particulate that we should be concerned about in health, in human health, are those in below five micron, especially in the range of one to two, because they tend to be retained in our lungs. So the apparatus I'm gonna talk about is called Anderson Sampler. And uh, in this graph here, this diagram, it's showing how this apparatus really mimic the respiratory system of human being. So it's called six stage Anderson Sampler. And uh, six stage in the sense that the particle size is cascade in six different categories. For instance, the larger size are seven micron above. The second to that would be in the range of four to seven. And the last category will be really small, uh, will be small particles. So we're talking about half a micron to about 1.1 micron. So the theory behind the Anderson sampler has been based primarily on what we know about the respiratory system, how is it sizing this air particulate or particular matter in the air that we breathe in. So I'm gonna go in and show you the component of the Anderson sampler. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, it's called six stage. So which means you will have six different pores uh, in this system. It has an air intake on the top of it. So the air going to here through this uh, system of uh, different uh, perforated uh, filters and then uh, this is uh, connected to a vacuum. And this vacuum is supposed to be operating about 28, uh, drawing about 28 uh, liter of air per minute. So as we turn it on, okay, you can see how it's sucking, sticking in my, my glove. So that's pretty much how, how strong it would be. So that's to really demonstrate to you that air is being sucked into the system. So the air draw in, so whatever is in the air is taken in, and then uh, uh, the air go through a pump, and then exit out of the pump. Now, as we draw the air in, we have to wonder how are we to know what are the organism in the air. So what we do, underneath each one of these perforated ring, this is the top portion. So this is uh, capturing or letting in any particulate seven micron uh, and above. So we we'll put a plate, a petri plate underneath of it so that when the air gets sucked into the orifice, all the particulate get impacted through this filter, through this perforated ring onto the medium. So we do so for each layer. So this is the first one. I'm gonna put a plate for the second one. So this is on the top of the system and this one is on the bottom of the system. So you're looking at particulate of a seven micron above going through here and so any other particular smaller will go through it. And this particular ring we took, we're talking about letting through 0.5 to about 1.1 micron. So as I mentioned earlier, it's based on the fury that been developed from how air is intake through the respiratory system of human being.
So we create a vacuum through the system and uh, I'm going to dispense a little bit of a sample through uh, the orifice but it helped to put uh, a funnel over here so that uh, it will channel uh, the sample in it properly. So about, we're talking about 0.33 milligram that you can put at the one time. So I'm going to tap it over and uh, typically it will be good to close it to kind of create more of a suction. So we'll let it run for about three, five minutes, but you can go longer. We've gone through this for a few minutes. So let this assemble it and see what we got below it. Okay. So again, you can see here that if you remember, we have this uh, spherical, this uh, round uh, perforation. So you can see underneath each one of them, there's been impact okay, from it. And if you go to the next one below, I don't know how much you can see, but can you see it? See? So we will put this in the box and uh, leave it for five, seven days. And uh, if there is any uh, culturable or any organism, viable organism, especially fungal uh, organism, then we might see some growth. Okay. And uh, if we go further down to the first, to the third one, you could still see the impact. It's become harder to see, right? So, and let's go by curiosity to the last one. Okay. So this is the last orifice, the last uh, ring of the bottom of it. So these are, remember these are letting through particulate that are uh, half micron to about 1.5 or uh, 1.1 micron. Okay. And uh, it is in this range that there is most concern, uh, as I mentioned earlier. One to two micron particulate getting into the lung uh, tend to be retained in the lungs. For more information on air quality along the border, please visit nmborderair.nmsu.edu. This project was funded by the New Mexico Department of Health, Office of Border Health. The proceeding was a production of New Mexico State University.